E hiya, welcome to another NUFC Fans Forum. I'm joined as ever by Ross. Hello, Adam. And by Simon as a special treat because he's such a good boy. Hello. Um, now, before we start, I was away on Saturday and couldn't bring myself to watch the alleged highlights of our 2 1 defeat to Toddersfield Town. So you're both going to have to talk me through precisely A, what happened, and B, what went wrong. Ross, would you like to start? We were sh. Right, Simon? The worst sh I've ever seen. It, it's gone it was worse than anything I saw in Depardieu or Carver or anything ever worse than Pardew. it's it it's the end of the world in what's arrived <laughs> the, oh, we'll start with the grass the grass seemed too long it needed <laughs> the pie was the, horrible hashtag they were, breakdown they were passing and it wasn't good the, the teammates it seemed like the, the pitch needed watering he played Vern Actually, on the right wing again, then an hour on the left wing, and then 20 minutes at right back, and then, oh, it was just a mess from start to finish. Now, Ross, when we watched the Fulham game together, I was distraught at what was going on. You told me, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Are you now worrying? It's only two games, in it? But <laughs> After all that, it's Reading, it man, is, Reading, Reading. If it continues that. for a couple more games, then we're starting to get worried. If right. he continues to keep playing players out of position... And this weird style of hoofball, which starts with 17 passes along the bat line and then one hoof to Dyke Gale down the channel. Yeah. Uh, Simon, if that continues, then we're worried. Uh, what was your appraisal of the game? Slightly less dramatic? Uh, I thought it was terrible. Reasonable? I mean, it wasn't it, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen because I can just about remember Ozzy Ordeal as much as when I was tiny. That was bad. <laughs> Sam Aldice was pretty bad. But it was bad. I mean, it was it was pretty terrible. The what was going wrong? What was like? I I have just nothing. Assume I've seen nothing. Nothing was going right. Was the problem? Mm. They couldn't pass. Isaac Hayden went from looking like the best player on the pitch against Fulham to being the worst, just giving the ball away. Like you see, when you when you're at home at Huddersfield Town, I know they are quite cosmopolitan these days, but you don't need Isaac Isaac Hayden to play. He's a defensive midfielder that offers literally nothing. Maybe apart from a header from a corner, nothing going forward. So why play him? We've got to have a bit more confidence in that. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't play three three central midfielders yeah. at all at home. It's like we've still got the same mindset as we did at the end of last season, where we're allowing teams... We're not setting the pace ourselves. We're allowing the teams to dictate the pace by coming on to work and stuff like that. Exactly. We need to do a blazing squad and flip reverse it on. Reverse it, yes. As you know, we need to become, Two in a row. become the aggressor. How would you do that? Change of formation, change of personnel, change of mindset. It's a combination of a few. You can't play Anita if you're going to play him out wide. I don't necessarily think that he should play in the middle based on the form that he's shown the past few games. Mm. But he's playing out wide, and you can't really blame him for that. I asked this last time. What is what possibly is the thinking between having Anita out wide? Is it well, I mean, to do with the full back? The end, the end of last season, him? I think it was Liverpool won it when he put in a cracking cross for a. Mm. A goal. I mean, he got forward, but he scored against City as well, didn't he? Yeah. So he was getting forward on the right and doing well, but he looks like a fish up a tree at the minute. Poor little bird. <laughs> <laughs> Put him on the left as well. That was even more baffling. It's just like just play your players in the correct positions. Exactly. Aaron started, and to, I thought he was the best of a really bad bunch in the first mm. half. Yeah, I'll be honest. I didn't think he was that bad, and, and everybody seems a, to be saying he yeah, was crap. I think he was the best of the bad bunch, and they took him off for Matt Ritchie. For Matt Ritchie. Matt Ritchie didn't start, did he? No, because no, no. he, was he was very good when he came on. Ill though. or something. Yeah. Who knows? Because he didn't look bad when he came on. He didn't look he didn't unfit. I mean, he tired at about the 80-minute mark, but he, by that point, he had two men on him at all points. And oi, oi. he was, yeah, he was... Uh, Maradona's a lot. Yeah. Um, Huddersfield Town scored. Was it two counter-attack goals or just the one? It was just the second one, the counter-attack? Uh, there were. Uh, let's say what they were. There were. We lost the ball, and then they attacked us. Well, I was just, how, did we, right, how did we? How did we concede two goals to Huddersfield Town? No disrespect to Huddersfield Town, of course. There were two I good mean, finishes. Yeah, Na- stars, Naki I mean. Wells is a good player. Naki Wells should probably be in the Premier League, at like Hull, somebody like that. And his his finish for the first one was really good. The second one. And Bemba gave the ball. Bemba gave the ball away. It wasn't a foul. Dummett didn't. Uh, People think it's a foul, but it wasn't a foul. I'll be honest. I think it was a foul. That's why. That's why Ross. Why do you think it was a foul? Ross? Why don't I you think know. it was a foul? Rather, I it wasn't a foul. I think it was a foul because he put two hands on him, and I don't. And think Bemba that was be dilly dallying with the ball, and then the guy just swept in and played the guy in, and he scored. Now the Bemba moment is the one thing I have read about. Some say it was a foul, some say it wasn't, but obviously this is kind of it typical of this league. You do not 
people are on you you do not get afforded the time the whistle doesn't go anywhere near as easy as it does in the Premier League do you think and I'm just going to put this out there that we are lacking a bit of guile and a bit of not rigidity oi oi again but just a bit of toughness and a bit of mental toughness physical toughness we look a bit lightweight across the pitch I personally think I don't think it's that. I think they just have to get used to the fact that they're going to get kicked more and not go down and, and expect to get a free kick or mm. not sort of stop in a situation where in the Premier League you get a free kick. But do we have the kind of players who can play that kind of football? Who, you know, give a bit back? Or who, yeah, we'll we'll have, yeah, we've got, we've like, got lots of choppers. We've Jack, got Grant Jack Hanley. And, yeah. they're just, but I, I don't want to play like that. Like, as much as I think... I think the problem at the weekend with Benitez was... He's encouraging them to pass it around too much. Like, like you say, he did it at the back, across the back, 17 passes, one forward. All that does is let Huddersfield go back in three defensive lines. Mm, so they've got 11 men behind the ball and you can't get around them. It's like watching Barcelona trying we're to break somebody proactive. down in the can't. I think, yeah? I think I realised on Saturday that we've bought the wrong striker. It's as if we've not realised that every single team that comes to St James's Park and most away from home are going to set it with a bank of four and a bank of four and about four yards before the keeper gets there Yeah. and we've bought Dwight Gale whose strength is being on the last man running in behind but he's got the, the two no games space. so far have proved there's been absolutely no space it so might I, it might be better if we'll have somebody big who's going to hold the ball up and I, make that space I can't we'll wait just for me to get one. back hopefully yeah. that's a, if a, indeed he does come a back. proper focal point I can't see him not really I, I mean he needs to play four four two with them two otherwise Gale is there's no point in him there's the, he doesn't bring anything to the team. All that happens is we'll lump the ball up. He's four foot ten or whatever he is. He's not going to win a header. Iosi Perez isn't going to win a, a header in, in number ten. Richie's not going to win a header because he's not that big, but he always plays out wide. Mm. And then you've got Anita. How which of those four are going to win a header? Diarmi might, but he. he was, I mean, he looked yeah, terrible. Yeah. But I think he's probably just off the pace yeah, for that game. Hopefully, I mean, it was yeah, it was just that, just set it up. Everything was wide, and then cross it into Gale, who just wasn't there. So in short, we're getting kicked about too much in the centre of the park and we're lacking a proper big centre forward. All we have to do is be direct through the run. middle. Don't kick the ball over the top. You, you saw it when Mbemba picked the ball up and just decided, f*** this, I'm going to play football. Hey, right, Skinned the whole team. Run. Just went all the way through. Did two and or three and they were absolutely terrified of it because they're not used to p- defenders doing that. But you can't defend against somebody who's going to run past you like that. If you, if you then let them get this time to sit in banks then you can't go through the middle of them so all you have to do is get the ball and run give it a Richie let him do it straight away Reading on Wednesday memory serves that is where our previous championship season picked up Shola Shola I've actually just watched them on the internet so I was at that game such so happy days tell you what that first goal what a cross goosebumps what a cross the way Nolan hammered it down and then knocked it back and then Shola was at the oh goosebumps well, anyway, anyway before we digress too much um your Rafa Benitez, again, if you suspend your disbelief. Perhaps someone can draw goatees over you for our own amusement. Um, with the resources at your disposal, let's say we can't go out and get somebody in the next two days, what do you do? How do you change it? How do you get Be a, a bit result? more adventurous, I think, for a start. Hayden wouldn't start for me. No, who would? John Joe did. I mean, he's... He, 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 yeah, he was, he's, he's he all right, but he likes too many Hollywood balls like he can't he won't pass the ball to you here unless he knows he's getting straight back no, so he, he passes to you from this far away and goes like this but he loves 20 yards that way or, or 30 yards that way on diagonal so he can like make them look really good but most of the time that doesn't happen if he's gonna if he's, if he's gonna stick with a 4 one, two, two, the triangle in midfield <laughs> Diarmid needs to be Diarmid needs to be the like one of the two attacking midfielders uh-huh. Behind, what am I saying here? Four, two, three, one. That's the one. Diarma needs to be one of the two for me. One of the he sitting midfielders. Far too. We're not sitting. Like you got one. Hayden can sit right. if he has to play Hayden. Yeah. Diarma can drive. So you're saying he should be playing a four, he got, one, four, one. No, no, he should be playing no, four, four, two, three, one. But those two aren't, aren't like all the, the way back. back. Yeah. They're, they're actually centre midfielders. Right. One because defensive minded. He was. One he forward. played the cam rule. The cam rule on Saturday, mm. and he was just lost. He, I don't think he touched the ball more than 10 times did he start? yeah number 15 he was crowded out because just, because yeah. they, were, they were doing what I said they let the other team defend and they just put people on him like he didn't even know whether he was playing up front or midfield he was lost so we've, bought, we've assembled a team of nice pretty players who want to play expansive passing football and shock and horror we've gone at the championship and everybody's quite compact quite unwilling to let us do this 
how have we allowed? I mean, surely this was such an obvious thing that was going to happen. I don't think we have signed players like that. The problematic ones are Shelby, who was already there mm. because he he likes to play these long balls. But we've bought Dwight Gale, who works as a fast unit through the middle, picking up balls where somebody's dropped, like knocked it down from. We just don't have that person knocking them down. Then we've got Diarmi who for Hull used to just maraud through the middle and score goals, Mm -hmm. that's the right approach as well. You just don't do what we did with him on the weekend, and he has to be better than he was. So so it's not Um, a personnel problem, it's we're using them wrong thus far. Yeah, I mean, Matt Ritchie is is a perfect example. He was really good when he came on, and if he plays like that all the time, then he's going to be our... I I mean, he might be the love of my life. (laughs) The Maradona kid, though. Oh, he was ta- he was absolutely taking the piss down the uh, down the right hand side. Oh, so the worst back highlight. heels and oh yeah, just all him. Just from him though, that yeah. was it. Oh, well. And obviously Gale's uh, rebounded header. I mean that the penalty. He's got away. That penalty really was absolutely awful. Shit. It was really terrible. awful. Freely awful. Freely awful. awful. Yeah. Freely. Do you think Reading's going to be? We're going to have more luck. What Reading is, is a tougher game what than is both the Fulham been? and Huddersfield. Reading. I don't, I don't know. know. I've got literally no interest. Don't that. Does that mean they won? Do you know the, oh no, sorry, the dark is them. So they got beat by Wolves right, in the okay. first game and right. then they won against Preston. I thought they won both the Hutton Hill game. They're opening Can away you just game. Click, click on the report, was it too? I just did. Oh no, that was Saturday. Yeah, I'm reading the f***ing wrong on So again, Reading on Wednesday. Uh, they've had a mixed start. I think they won their first game and lost their second one. Yeah, well Seamless. Us. Seamless. Smooth, that, you know. Um, well, do you think that's going to be the turning point? Do you think we have better luck there? Or is that, t- is that a tougher game than Fulham and Huddersfield were? It is a tougher game than both Huddersfield and oh, Fulham. Oh, good. I don't um, know, that might be a bit on par with Huddersfield. Huddersfield are cosmopolitan these days, you know, with all their German. saying that, but that, that doesn't mean they're good. I read, it, I read it in a report of the team. Cosmopolitan. They've got they, all these German youth players. For how, how rubbish we were, Huddersfield were not good. They did their job. They, they had effective. 35% possession. Who cares? They sound like a good, did, they did a good did championship team. They won, they won uh, the two game. Su- two sucker punches is all they did. They, they did us. We couldn't deal with them. I would say Reading is a much more rounded outfit. What does that mean? Uh, they've got strength in much more areas. Oh, good. So it does mean something. They've got Stephen, right. Stephen Hunt, basically. Oh, I remember Don't Stephen Don't ask Hunt. me about any Stephen other players. Stephen Hunt doesn't still play for I think he? he might be the only one I know. He'll be about 50 now. No, he's, he's still there. Oh, is it Noel Hunt? It's Noel Hunt. His brother. No Hunt, no, no Hunt's in League Two. I'm sorry. Jeremy Hunt. Jeremy, you, Jeremy Vine. Jimmy Higgins. <laughs> oh, Stephen Kermit. Quinn, that's Kermit. what I meant. Kermigant. Heard of him. Ali Al Abzi. I tell you what, though, Ollie Norwood, he's apparently a smashing little player. I've heard, yeah. Industrious midfield. Yakola. Anyway, can we get back to this? This is going in, all this. Oh, good. Paul McShane. Oh, f. We've lost now. Okay, go back. Please. Paul McShane, we've lost. No, that means surely Paul He's McShane brilliant. won. Paul McShane is awful. He's the worst. He is possibly the worst player to ever play in the Premier League. Watch him score a hat-trick. I don't think he will. Anyway. Stephen Quinn is who I meant, not Stephen. Stephen Quinn. Stephen Hunt. Quinniesta. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, they get they get far in the cup against Premier League teams usually because I'm just going to ignore what's the sound. <laughs> because they, they've got a well-rounded team. And they've got Anton Fernand training with them. They've got Big Jap, Big Jap Stan. Exactly, yeah. Big Jap. Jap. Big Jap. Jap. Big Jap Jap Stan. There's a J there, I'm going to use it. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a a tough game. But I think every game's going to be a tough game because not only have we got to get around the fact that we're playing the wrong system, they're all cup finals for everybody. So what what changes would you make, though? I would drop Anita. Drop outright, you wouldn't swap them around? Yeah, I'd... For this game, I would. I'd put. And it hurts us as much as it hurts you. But I would put Shelby and De Army in the middle, like Ross said. Mm. I would play. No, uh, that means I have to play Iosi through the middle, and I don't like doing that. Team De Jong. <laughs> <laughs> Draft <laughs> back in Samuel Amiobi. Yeah, where the honestly, I'd where put him he? on on the left. <laughs> I've tweeted him. He's not replied yet. Is he? All, is he alive? I think so. Yeah. I feel bad. I dropped Yama as well. I thought he was out. He, get, he gets away with a lot of him. He Fourth. was terrible. Vern. If you're oh, yeah, well, I'd play, actually, I'd play Vern at full back. There you go. Oh, there we go. I mean, I'd play Vern at f- both full backs. 75 I... minutes, I think it was, he took him off Yama. Yama. And yeah. interestingly enough, 20 minutes after full time, yeah, I was driving up Barrett Road. Well, I wasn't driving. I was a passenger going up Barrett Road, turning to my left hand side, and who's there on the phone in his car? Who was it, Ross? It was Daryl Yamat. 20 minutes after full time that is not enough time to have a team talk a shower he's not had a shower has he 
That's many he's got, he was taken off, but he could have a shower before the team talk, but still, 20 minutes no, isn't enough true. for a team talk. I I still, think he's, I'm just going to put the, the cat amongst the pigeons here. He's, he's, he's thrown a hissy fit. He's walked off. Shout. Well, he's Huge hands scoop. In full he was, working order, because that's usually a he was, dri- he was driving and phoning at the same time. Oh. I, that's was right, he? Well, on the phone. Police? And he in grass the car, you naughty boy. <laughs> Grass, aye, right he was. Get him, coppers. Get him. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play Jan Matt because he was he was crap, uh, and he makes a lot of mistakes. Usually, his mistakes cost us goals. Mm. He was at fault twice. He, he was at fault both the goals. Oh well. Dummett was at fault because I mean, he's oh, just wait, absolutely he was a different level listen. of. He's a scam. We've got wholesale changes. Every... Drop the keeper. Get Dollar back in now. No. Sells is alright. I mean, he, he, he's he standing in goals, a completely different pitch for the second goal. I don't understand what was going on in his head. And then you blame somebody else. But literally, they're attacking down here. His goal's over there somewhere, and he's standing. He's diving just this like, way. He doesn't, he doesn't defend his goal. How strange. Um. So, yeah, I, I would play anybody at left back other than Paul Dummett you heard it here first let's keep saying that draft he's as Gamez in yeah but I don't know if I'd play him on the right you don't need it when you got Vern no that's true but I'd probably play Vern on the left what I prefer, <laughs> I prefer <laughs> Vern on the left I don't know the why left of what uh, left back the left yeah. of the byline because that's Le- what I like left just back. on the right of the pitch at the left of the pitch yeah. <laughs> uh, slightly more positive news uh, the breaking story we had just in is that uh, Crystal Palace is now swelling transfer kitty from the Yannick Balassi sale. What a travesty that is, by the way. Could be... Well, if you see the biggest travesty, you've seen the hashtag they've used. Welcome Balassi, but they've spelled it B-1-4-S-I-E, because they've given a number 14. The 14 assy. Yeah. So, well... If there's no... What is the point in having a football governing body if they're not going to come down on things like that? <laughs> Social anyway, media conduct like that. Their transfer kitty is now expanded to the size where Alan Pardew... Might be looking at Moussa Well, oh, apparently is looking at Moussa Sissoko. And is going to be using that money to bring him to Selhurst Park. That's good. As long as we then invest that in getting a striker, getting two, a left winger wingers. and a left back. I don't know if we need two wingers. We need Matt Ritchie's amazing. Who are you going to replace him with, though, if he, gets, if he does get cropped? Don't. Just fill him full of all <laughs> the drugs and let him go. That's if that's funny. what he plays like when he's ill, I don't care what's him on. That's funny that, though, because Crystal Palace aren't in the Champions League, are they? No. It's no, a very, no, very Alan Pardew yeah. thing to happen, and it's a oh. very, very Moussa Soko thing to happen, so I'm kind of alright with it. I'm glad he didn't play on Saturday, though, because with that performance, if he came on, that would have been it. People would have been Riots. On, the, on the pitch punching him and cats marrying horses dogs. and everything. Awful. Uh, Rain goes up. Yeah, that stuff. Rain goes up. I mean, he might have he, he might have been more effectual. He would have been more effectual than Anita on the, on the front. I don't think there's any doubt in that, but uh, Vern hasn't yeah, wished was right to go away, has he? No, that's true. I bet he has. I bet he wished to go away at about 60 yeah, minutes in this game. Apparently everybody wished to go away after about 60 minutes. Quite a lot of them did. I mean, we started off all right, but then for the thirty minute, the last 30 minutes of the first half were awful. And then second half, Matt Ritchie injected a lot into the team and then they just marked him and that was it. It went back to being dire at the end. We had a lot of opportunities had a, a, to put a ball in the box. Ritchie put a lot of balls in the box. And bloody Paul Dummett on the left-hand side was standing just unmarked for like 20 minutes or something in advanced position on the left. Kept when giving him the ball. He put one good ball in. A corner comes in and it gets headed out and Dummett's there about 25 yards out centre of goal. Yeah. And Move the whole over. Gallagher goes, shoot. Yeah. And guess what he did? He shot. Yeah. You pulled him out. You don't shoot. Just ignore the crowd. I we don't actually want you to said shoot. that. Was the... You're Paul Dummett. Stop <laughs> what was, forgetting what was your the Paul result Dummett. of the shot? It went skew with. It nearly hit Ross. In the Gallagher. I'm in the top bunk of the Gallagher now. No, you hit you. Still, though, there was flags higher than me. I thought there were just the first two blocks down below. Did you steal one? No, I didn't. Controversial. Well, I have seen the flags, by 80. the way. It's one thing I've seen. It did look absolutely spectacular. It did, it did look nice, but... Hats off to everybody involved with that, unless you nicked one. You f***ed. You'll have to bleep that. <laughs> I'll just leave it in. Uh, thank you for joining us for what is fast becoming uh, post-mortems instead of fans' forums. Um, I couldn't think what to say this. Head's gone. Please head's remember gone. to like, share, and subscribe, Adam. Well, well, should, I, I, should I bother doing it, or will you just cut it out and you'll do it? You'll Shall we? Simon, it's been a pleasure funny. once again. Thanks, Ross. Adam. Thank you for joining me at this time. Well, Please remember to like, share, and subscribe this, this video. Is... We will see you next time.